Alright guys, I am going to do the craft tag now. And, um, my craft tag, um, I got it off Boondoggle Princess and I did not get tagged. Like I said in the previous video, I don't get tagged, I just copy them and I just do them. So, kudos to, um, Boondoggle Princess for giving me this idea. And I love her stuff. Um, okay, number one, favorite item to craft. First of all, let me put it this way. I don't do a whole lot of crafting. I'm not like, I don't do like a various things. The only things I do is boondoggle and perler beads, really, and coloring, if that counts. And I do do some scrapbooking too. But um, I'm trying to look. Yeah, that's all I do. And so, my favorite item is basically Boondoggle and Perler Bees. But I wouldn't say Perler Bees are my favorite. Absolute favorite. Because I don't get as frustrated as I do with Boondoggle. And it doesn't take as long. Um, number two, least favorite item to craft. Um, at, uh, my friend Kayla, I was over at her house and she was trying to teach me how to crochet. I tried it and I could not get into it. I could not figure it out for the life of me. I couldn't get it. So I just gave up on that. Maybe sometimes in the future I will try it again. But other than that, um, yeah. Um, number three, most recently crafted item. Um, okay. Wait one second. I should have had all my stuff out before I started this. I really should have thought this through before I really started this. Oh, okay. I will be doing like another um, Perler B collection video in um, soon. Probably today if I get if I get what I've done today, I'll probably do it today. And I will be doing another boondoggle collection once I have a lot of boondoggle made. But my most recently crafted item out of the boondoggle, I just finished making the braided wool. And I kind of messed up at the end here. I think, yeah. But, yeah, so this is braided wool that I made. And then I just got done making, and this is the same one I used for the brick and the twist video. And I made this brick and twist little thing, so. Okay, I realize, low battery, you will have to, I hate that. <laughs> oh my god. So that's my recently boondoggle craft that I am. And I think I got, um, the bray wall done, I think, last week. And I just got done with the uh, brick and twist yesterday. And then I just got done, before I started making videos today, I just got done making the Angry Bird Pro Perler Bead is what you'll see in my next Perler Bead collection video. Yes. Um, number four. Favorite time, to, uh, time of day to craft. Um, I don't like doing it in the morning. I realized this morning was a bad um, time to make one. When I did not get any sleep last night. And about 5.30 a.m. No, no, no. About 6 a.m. I started doing the uh, glow in the dark neon cat, I think it's called. Neon cat? Ne neon? I, I don't know. But, um, I already made the regular one and I wanted to make glow in the dark. And me doing pearl beads early in the morning just does not work out because I get frustrated easily. So, my favorite time to craft is like afternoon, like between, like, after I eat like lunch or breakfast and between that and any time in the night whenever I get done whenever I feel like ending my uh crafting of the day okay number five where do I craft um perler beads and um, any other craft that need a hard surface I do on my desk and I have a huge huge desk and I do all my perler beads right here and my docking station for my iPod is on my desk now. And um, 
boondoggle. I just got done with that boondoggle when I was at the hospital yesterday visiting my brother. So, I think boondoggle wherever I go or wherever in the house I go. Number six, how often do I tra craft? Um, I craft every day. <laughs> Except for when I don't feel good. When I don't feel good, I don't want to be messed with it. I don't want to do it. So, every day, unless I don't feel good. Um, number seven, what craft do you want to try? I would love to try the Palmer Clay um, craft where you get um, the clay and you make like little, like, I don't know, charms out of it. I want to try that, but um, I need money to get that. <laughs> And I would love to do sand kits again. I used to do sand kits when I was like really, really young. And I love sand kits. And um, I like to do tie dyed shirts again because I used to do that when I was little. Um, number eight, do you craft for your home? Um, no. <laughs> yes and no. I make like. The only thing I made for my home, really, is, um, for my mom, for Mother's Day, I made her a heart perler bead magnet, and I made her an I love you mom magnet. And that's the only thing I really made for the home. But, that's it, so. And number nine, do you craft your clothes? And, like I said before, um, I'm going to start making tie-dye shirts again, if that counts for clothes. Um, I did put a patch on jeans before. I did do a lot of, like, um, sewing before on clothes. I did, oh my god, I completely forgot about that. Um, I was in home ec freshman year, and we had to get material from either any kind of craft store, but, like, cl uh, like cloth material, any kind of, um, design. And, um... We had to make shorts, and I made, I don't know where mine are, and it came out really crappy, but I did make a pair of shorts, so. And number 10, most intricately crafted item. Um, either my, all of my, I, I wish I could talk, all of my Powerpuff Girl Perler beads, and, um, my aerial perler bead, which I'm going to show you, and my updated collection of perler beads I don't want to show her now, or my braided wall. Braided wall, I was very, very proud of myself for because I got it in my head that it wouldn't turn out right, and it didn't really turn out right, but I'm satisfied with it. And the Powerpuff Girls took a while to make, and they came out rather well, except for Buttercup. Hers is like her um, skin color is kind of off a little bit. Well, not off, but the uh, perler beads got rearranged somehow and it kind of got iron weird. So, yeah. So, that's my craft tag. And, like I said on the other tags, if you feel like doing it, go right ahead. Alright, bye.